This one's gonna have some funky stuff in it, so prepare yourself mentally ahead of time. Um, this is going to be a double replacement also. So we've got switching partners. So we'll have an H2CO3 and a KNO3. So H2CO3 and a KNO3. Here's the funny thing that you might not have known. Whenever you get H2CO3, which is carbonic acid, carbonic acid, whenever it's formed, automatically uh, decomposes into CO2 and H2O. And that's in your text if you want to see more explanation about that. But whenever you see it, you're not going to write that. You're going to write H2O plus CO2. Okay, so carbonic acid immediately decomposes. That's something you just need to know. Okay, we've written our, re written our reaction. It looks like it's balanced. All I want to do now is uh, go to my second step, which is write down the states. Water, from general knowledge, is a liquid. CO2, from general knowledge, is a gas. Um, for the very first one, uh, HNO3, anything with a nitrate is aqueous. According to my solubility rules, so that's aqueous. And I have a KNO3 here, that's aqueous. Again, anything with a nitrate is aqueous on the solubility rules. Remember, you don't have to memorize the solubility rules. You just have to be able to look at it and figure it out. Uh, KHNO3, anything with a K, a potassium, that's a group 1 metal, according to solubility rules, is also aqueous. So let's see what cancels out. Well, to do that, I have to go to step 3, which is to figure out what's strong electrolyte. HNO3 is my acid. I'll let you know now that's a strong acid. Uh, and in a little bit, you're going to be taught how to know that. But let me split it up into its ions. HNO3 would be H plus and a CO3 uh, 2 minus. Or uh, HCO3, I guess I should say. H, so HCO3 minus. So I took that hydrogen off. Okay, what else? Well, let's take a look at the... Oh, I totally biffed that one up. I was looking the wrong thing. H plus NO3 minus. I'm in delirium right now. Okay, so HNO3 splits up in H plus NO3 minus. The next one splits up into K plus and HCO3 minus. Why am I splitting these up? They're aqueous. Anything that's... Almost anything that's aqueous is a strong electrolyte. You can put it as its ions. Water is liquid. It doesn't split up. Gases don't split up. They're not aqueous. But KNO3 will. K plus NO3 minus. Now what I want to do, get out my other pen and cancel out all the ions that are unused. So nitrate is one example of an unused ion. You notice also K plus unused. So I'm just left with a couple things. Let me write down what's left over and I'll have my now ionic equation. I'll write that in green. I have H plus aqueous. Remember anything with a charge is going to be aqueous automatically. HCO3 minus aqueous goes to H2O liquid plus CO2 gas. And there we go. We've got our net ionic equation right here. Got rid of all the spectators, that's what is actually doing the reaction. Now, the last one, the bottom one. Uh, this is actually written out in words. So let's try this. I'm going to write it up here. So, sodium chromate. So, you gotta know your naming in order to get this stuff down. Sodium chromate would be Na2CrO4. Chromate, CrO4 2 minus. I need two sodium pluses to balance it out. And then we've got a silver 1 nitrate. Plus silver 
one nitrate. Nitrate's minus one, silver is plus one, so they both balance each other out. They're mixed in solution. If you read the question carefully, they're basically saying that it's aqueous. So I can kind of do the, just by reading the question, they're telling me that it's aqueous. So I can kind of do the second step there before I even write the products. Anyways, let's write the products. This is a double replacement because I've got two ionics. So I've got Na, uh, NO3 plus Ag2CrO4. Okay, so I've got that. Um, and the, I want to find this step two. I want to find out what's aqueous. Well, I already knew that the reactants were aqueous because it said in the question they're mixed. But if you didn't realize that, so anything with sodium is always aqueous. Anything with nitrate is always aqueous. How do I know that? I read the solubility rules. So sodium nitrate must be aqueous. If you look on the solubility rules, however, for the last one, anything with a chromate, uh, with few exceptions, will be solid. And all those exceptions are listed on solubility rules. But uh, this one is going to be solid. So, uh, let's see what we have. Everything that's aqueous is going to break up in solution. So I'm going to go to step three, figure out that these are strong electrolytes, and I want to cancel them out. So let's write out everything that is aqueous. Okay. Oh. I also just noticed, I forgot to balance. We were balance. We're on the test. I pretty much give almost nothing balance, so you want to be always ready. Uh, two, there's two of these. There we go, I think that looks good. Let's see what cancels from both sides of the reactions. Our products will cancel with the reactants. So I've got sodium, that's out. And I've got nitrate that's out. So the sodiums and nitrates cancel. Everything else I'm going to write down, and this will be my net ionic equation. I've got a chromate ion plus two so, uh, silver ions. They're both aqueous. Remember, ions, all those aqueous, goes to uh, Ag2, that's silver one, chromate. And there is my net ionic equation for the last one. Whew! Finally, that was a lot.